if you're new, my name is Mabel. I'm a content creator, a fashion and lifestyle blogger, um, an entertainer, I dance, um, I do shorts, um, I'm a creative. Um, I like um, doing fashion reviews, I like doing a uh, movie and um, cinematic reviews of like my favorite um, shows, TV shows, movies, my interests. I like recapping things. Um, I'm a movie buff, I'm a series buff. I do recaps on my channel. Um, I'm into like uh, fitness, into dance, into, into like creative interests. I'm into videography. Um, I've done like fashion reviews. Um, sometimes I post uh, visuals of things I'm doing, um, things I'm trying to promote, branding. Um, I usually use my top tricks to um, create my content. Um, I just like to describe myself as a, a relatable, interesting content creator and lifestyle blogger. Um, I have this channel just out of interest. I've been trying to upgrade my like. Um, my like you know my habits my creative interests and my passions and um, it's been fun to do this it's giving me very um consistent um i'm growing my habits i'm growing my tr tools i'm growing my creativity and um yeah i'm just enjoying like relating with other people like joining the youtube gang you know being spontaneous chatting just just catching up generally like i just like creating and just 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 enjoying just showing you know showing off that kind of thing i mean i mean it's just it's fun like it, it's not something i would normally um uh like have visual visualize myself doing have like started like or considered you know i wouldn't have you know gone too far to do that but you know i'm enjoying like having this platform everybody wants a platform i like being in the platform game now youtube is fun it's been nice i'm creatively like unwinding it's giving me like patterns you know like formulas to like um able to divide my time and just to do what i want to do knowing that you know i would go back to it i would um uh, cover it and uh, make it into like uh, create a, a content out of it like giving me time management it is giving me it's giving me fun you know it's giving me you know leisure you know sometimes you need to get an activity to do what you want to do um yeah i've been doing this channel for a while um, if you know me you know i like fashion you know like beauty i do makeup hair um i show my vein side i like the vanity uh, i do beauty um like uh, makeup um, editing um i'm gonna step up my game we're all here to watch you know the consistency and we're here to you know to to learn we're here to to piece it so i just you know i enjoy being here um i find myself feeling more relatable and it's giving me like purpose and it's really um you know dedicated me to just finding like where i want to go and how i want to like um begin to produce my own image and things like that and i'm sure everybody wants that so um if you're new you look to my channel it's fun um you know welcome back to you know being uh, uh live uh, lively being free you know being um being um on social media and all that so it's fun you know i'm enjoying it um yeah i hope you're welcome here and um, you find something relatable you share um you know you comment you give suggestions i will do a family you should be great i'm still finding you i'm in the, I'm in the beginning steps i'm taking it you know pleasurably i'm trying to grow i'm in the growth stage but you know it's been great and i hope you know we begin to um you feel the the um the uh, 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 the uh, reward, you know, we begin to see the um, the um, return, you know, for everybody. Like we begin to see the consistency in everybody, the viewers, and even myself, because this is a it's a dual like growth thing. You will watch, you'll be rewarded, you'll be inspired, and I can inspire others and that kind of thing. So yeah, you know, um, I'm quite you know happy about it, and uh, uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, I've just been like um, 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 seeing the results and um, yeah, I've been having fun just doing this, doing regular content and just um, perfecting my, um, you know, my image and just um, my interests and just doing just regular things to interest my YouTube and surprise everyone and keep the fun going and keep the, um, 
the um, interest and keep the relevance and all that. So I hope you guys are good. I hope you had a good week. Um, yeah, it's been up in a while. Um, I've been on just uh, social media a lot. I've been using my IG a lot, which has been really helpful. A lot of products, a lot of things on IG. Like previous videos I've done reviews on my products and other things like from um, free, um, a lot of sign ups, a lot of. Um, promotions a lot of offers are going around right now on instagram on social media on twitter like there are a lot of things you can go and receive for free and just like look at like a of stuff so instagram has been really helpful i've been promoting myself on socials and i've been keeping my social media like consistent trying to keep my socials up and yeah i've been on my instagram seeing lots of new stuff music is all about instagram is watching is um, post to have a lot of music, we, 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 uh, see new music, catch up on new music, like you know, you hear a new song, you know, you feel cool, like it will give you, you know, to be, you will be pleasantly surprised, to, um, it will brighten your mood, you know. So, I mean, music helps your content, so you need to know like the kind of music you like, your music taste. Keeping my Instagram current, keeping it updated has been giving it me like perfection, like perfect, you know, algorithm and keeping me with like a consistent like formula to do my posts, which is important for me. I'm trying to do content, creative things, I'm trying to do like, you know, special entertainment, I'm trying to do, you know, I, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to just feel, you know, I'm just trying to, to just see myself like cooler, see myself I see myself prettier, I see myself more late, you know, so anyway, so social media, I've been always like, keeping my of socials updated, like keeping my posts consistent, coming up with posts have become easier, Instagram is good, they're giving a lot of content, creation ideas, a lot of content goals, a lot of content for so that's cool, um, yeah, so Instagram, I've been updating my socials, I'll have all my social handles in the description box, if you want to check them, um, I'm on different platforms, and um, I'll have my social handles, I'm growing my content, I'm growing, you know, my my pages, growing my social, so it's been like, yeah, it's been okay, it's been like, um, corrective, and yeah, so, um, you know, I post for joy, don't really post for like competition, keeping competition off me, don't have any battles, don't have any uh, energies, I don't want to post for free, what I like doing, copyrights not infringed, no copyright infringement, I'm not an artist, you know, this is just for, for play, just for, for uh, what's it called, um, pleasure, so that's fine, um, yeah, I've been on socials a lot, Instagram has been good, and um, yeah, I'll come up with some new content, I'll come up with some new interests that I've been going through for the past few weeks, and yeah, um, I'm back to another review, um, it's been a minute, but you know, watching stuff has been, you know, chilled, watching my shows, watching things has just been chilled, I know that I'll come back, I'll make a video about it, I'll be able to put my two cents, I'll be able to dispel like ideas I'll have, I'll be able to converse about it, I'll be able to discuss about it and all that, so um, yeah, I've been like, you know, just calm and quiet, but back on YouTube fire, so I hope you guys are not missing, it's been a minute, it's okay. You know, keeping myself, you know, cool. This is England, you know, I'm just um, I'm sorting out a lot of fun things I want to do and just keeping my social life and keeping my schedule, you know, just finding you know, fun. You know. I'm cool being a student, it's cool, so it's fun. It's fun. It's my life, it's my best life, I'm always clean, God is good, single with a clean room, clean mind, God is great. Um, hope you guys stay tuned. Um, back to another review, so um, keep the videos coming and then um, have a good week. It's gonna be another interesting one. Stay tuned for my you know, consistent um, posts and uh, keep up with me on all platforms. And um, hope you have a good one. And stay tuned, enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you in the rest of the video. Bye and stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so yeah, um, in this um, video, I'm gonna be back with another review. Um, it's another one in the series. The review series I've been doing for the past few months. Um, I'm doing these of things I've been watching. I've been doing a lot of um, shows, a lot of like entertainment I've been watching. Lots of my favorite series. A lot of like upcoming things I've been watching that I'm getting to review, that I'm getting to um, catch up on. Um, watching a lot of like good reality TV because I really love reality TV. I love 
reality shows, I love unscripted, I love like documentaries, that kind of thing. I will literally watch documentaries on like different events, history, entertainment, like um, just different things, like normal reality TV, trash TV, because like you want to be like, I really don't want to stress myself with storylines and like sometimes, sometimes, you know, the excitement, the eventfulness can make you forget what you're watching and make you trip out. So you don't want to keep watching it, you just want to kind of move your mind. I like reality shows, they're fun. I usually watch like the ones on Bravo. And Bravo is just a reliable network. They usually have all the best reality shows. They usually have good reality shows that like, long lasting like it's the best one. Um watching a lot of junk, watching trust TV to make myself laugh. Um I've been watching like um I've been having time like I usually spend my time watching like series that have been like updated that that I've already like watched before like reviewing them again going back um obviously Nigeria has really come out with a lot of new reality shows like I've been watching a lot in the past few weeks like I reviewed some the previous videos such as Young Rich and Famous um lucky wives um it's another good one and um, a really good one that came out in the past two or three years i really like watching um that was really big um, when it came out i was really really like expected and like, some of the popular ones like a lot of them have been popular like um like we've been watching other ones like some old ones have been coming up normally like lucky wives um, young famous and african has been popular for the past two three years um one that has been really obviously it's growing up like nigerian reality shows have mostly been big brother um big brother africa big brother nigeria has been popular because like you know that housemates uh, aura that housemates um, um, concept is very popular in nigeria like me growing up like obviously i've always been in a room with others or i'm in a room with other people or i'm in a room with other like you know people or other like family or other friends or something like that so that like being together people personalities in a room like big brother africa is literally like a nigerian like mental like strategy like get a huge house put plenty of characters plenty kids and um, characters like very funny characters together put them in one house put them in a big house put them in the pool put drink put that for more and then that's how it to call me like, so normally a big brother is sometimes watching like, I watch from like Big Brother Africa like that's the one that you usually show like normally in Nigeria like usually like release like that's like one of the oldest franchises like, variety franchise like you know like normally in Nigeria a lot of variety of variety shows so obviously that stigma of like I'm going to really show my life it doesn't happen people will not really show their life so rather than whisper in life to somebody else so really showing your life is not allowed so you just be seeing like big brother which has always been funny they'll bring like 20 young people together in a room like that kind of thing like coexisting yeah, that's when the coexisting thing and all that came from watching as a nigerian person growing up it's really give me like a light like a light bulb on reality shows i like to socialize with the watching reality shows it gave me like confidence it gave me like concept of like oh i like reality shows i'm very reality tv that would be a little bit to me so watching that just customized i just got a lot of peace watching it so like that was like one thing i used to watch like all the time and so like big brother has been going on like you know like a lot of the cast members have been known like they've been popular we've had it come back we've had it like increase the leverage increase the brand everything like like start like really they've leveled up they've they've done everything like them um, you know they've all like they've been changing it you know they've been commercialized they've gotten like obviously they've gotten ahead they've gotten you know fame and all that from the show and like all that so people have been like personalized like it's been it's been um um you know popularized in nigeria and everything like even a lot of celebrities like lots of like biggest like names like good cast members and like really like entertaining like really you know unique like names and all that so that's a reality franchise that like we know that like a lot of young people go for and all that but we don't want like to have that kind of like casting where it's like okay african like um reality show like just 
being in the house sitting down together just sitting and just doing nothing so i think like returning something very very fabulous very very like high budget very high end like real housewives that was when people now became very very like in the, like very very insights like oh yeah this is really going to be serious in lagos and i was going to be really serious because in the hair room was like oh there'll be reality show coming to nigeria we're going to be bring real, uh, we're going to bring real housewives we're going to bring love island to nigeria and we're in about it for like a long time we never really saw it so for them to actually like actually like finish the concept like actually bring it to now like okay you think actually it's funny but we want to see where this these stars are because we want to first of all know who is going to be in that uh, mix of that um uh, uh, confusion that um a uh, 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 i want to know who is going to actually be in that whole uh, back and forth i want to know who is going to be there like obviously this is the house right so first of all they're going to be married which is like okay normally nigerian house like nigerian celeb celebrities nigerian stars african stars they don't really go on like guys to be like i'm married they don't really like it's normally like they will not show like i'm going to really show myself i'm going to be on a real show i'm going to do something really um a non 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 um, non visible so that it can be really non known so that it can be no story so that that kind of thing so for like you to present yourself like you did as in you want to like be like on a show and they actually tell the truth about the story that has been going around like, and all that so normally like actresses and like celebrities usually do like to show but it's normally like in what I'm doing is like a business, it's my family, it's my interest enterprise, it's my, it's my studio, it's my work in the country for for like women, so for this woman, for their money, it's my husband, this is the house, so you know, when that kind of intimate thing, don't I'm pregnant and see my dress and all that, that's what usually helps me, big brother, I'm single, I'm alcohol, with the room, I'm pregnant for you, like you guys show like housewives, obviously it's for the house of showing their like lifestyle and personal i'm pregnant on tv no i can't do that i'm not doing it i'm going to do that i'm going to travel on tv no way i'm, I'm, I'm expecting on tv so those things that not really nobody is saying they want to be there so nobody like a lot of variety shows they've been brought but they not stay like in the past few years now real housewives have been brought i know that that one is really fun because they're going to bring like some women that like obviously who is going to be married to you know, cast members first of all that means they're going to bring a lot of like high up you know professional like individuals like married people or they're going to bring a lot of like new names you know people who we are like you know they will bring a lot of they will bring a lot of drama they'll bring a lot of like uh controversial like marriages that one they're going to definitely bring we'll see a lot of like believable stories we'll see a lot of like they know like okay who's going to be in that thing um, they're going to be so okay so like in nigeria for instance why it's going to be funny is because okay so this is lagos everyone wants to know who's going to be but like it's married so like this is real housewives right you have a lot of high profile marriages so we know it's not going to be somebody that is normally like it could be you know like a pastor and his wife is not going to be casting the show which is going to be very funny it's going to be from like the names of like big people entertainers that we know have been married but like it's like this type of stigma like oh being a christian your marriage is perfect you know so we will not know who's going to be casted but like a lot of like you know popular like envy a lot of like um, um popularized kind of like married people is like religious so those religious people they are not going to be shown we just now have like the normal entertainers who are just dilly dallying with their like you know purpose and everything so they're going to be once casted so like to rob a lot of people the wrong way so we're not seeing normal marriages on tv not a christian man and his wife with a hat and all that really a shoe or something normally like a lot of marriage in nigeria is like pastors and like religious marriages so we don't want to see that so that's going to be funny it's going to be like you know entertainers and who's going to be casted so when that came out i was like okay we have a man in lagos in from bravo you know from atlanta you know from atlanta you know from atlanta you know from of Durban, South Africa, they have that, they have the of Dubai, so they can really get entertaining like the whole world, but Nigeria is like stopping like if you marry is this pastor, is this a father figure, is this a old, you know, religious person, it's not like a serious, you know, who is really married, is not, so I just think that's going to be good, as in just to just focus the whole nonsense again, but just to focus the whole like competition away from, you know, too much like stuffy kind of thing, so being like, 
um, you know, Nigeria, you know, like a lot of marriages, like, you know, the factor and people feel like church is where you're married and all that. So, we, you know, it's good to be like, hey, this is, um, you know, celebrities want to do, you know, they're married and all that. I think we have women who are like, oh, we have married people and families, that's my thing. So, we feel that you know, just like, you know, you know, it's going to be like a chaotic kind of thing. You know, it's going to be like, 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 yeah, 2022 came out and um, we now got um, the past uh, pictures so we just on um, social media. We got the lineup of who's in the past, um, different ages of people. Some of them are invisible, like business women, some of them are invisible, um, married entertainers, some of them are invisible, fashionistas, and all that. So it's just the diva entity. We want to know who produced it. It was produced by Dela and Derek and Aladino. Dari Faladi is a non is a notable is a music um, business in Nigeria. He's a music um, he's a musician. Um, he's also involved in like you know entertainment and all that. So um, yeah, it's from um, Showtime. This one yeah, it's Showmax. So this is like the Nigerian version of uh, Bravo Prime uh, Plus or whatever this thing. So um, yeah, it's going to it was released and we got the trailer and we're just saying like who um, you know who's all coming. That's what we want to see. Who, what is the gown? What is the dress code? What is the is the um, is the um, uh, order of the day of the business and who and who and all that. So um, the cast lineup was revealed. So you know. So that time we really, you know, I just, you know, this show is always good. Um, you know, this brother has been, you know, been having consistently this brother and the celebrities and they, you know, they've been getting in. So like, you know, that kind of, like, you know, that kind of contest thing, you know, normally Nigerian reality shows are also contests. Like, we have like reality TV that is like musical, such as judging like talent shows. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, the Voice Nigeria. Um, Idol, Nigerian Idol, the Stafford Idol, having, having like talent shows, you know, reality shows in Nigeria is like a lot of people have talent, they're not for music, they're not for culture, people showcasing talent, people showcasing culture, showcasing like singing, showcasing music, and all that, so watching talent shows is normal, we do have like a lot of big, huge talent, reality shows on TV, um, from Nigeria, they're like watching, like you know, talent wise, more than judging, but like, you know, those contesting things, some people you know, want something different, so we usually have the contest kind of skin of the reality show so this is now you know, the next video of the month of the lifestyle and this is going to be the life it's going to be a quick video on time and the one that wants to be in the life that we we run it to 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 uh, correct all the series just to correct the, the air and all that so obviously they have the um, the um, display of the characters of the um, cast lineup and stuff which is going to be interesting to be on it and so so the cast was introduced, the first cast member like we saw the cast with um, Carolina Hutchins was the uh, 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 day that the cast member on it. We knew Caroline, Caroline Cannon previously, she was previously married to a Hollywood actress in Hollywood uh, movies. Um, she acted in Hollywood, she was in Hollywood, an uh, actress. Um, she, um, you know, she's from, you know, from two Nigerian movies as a young person. She's from two Nigerian movies. Um, she's um, from Akalaba. Um, yeah, she's a little Nigerian actress from back in the day. I was watching her. I was talking about her. Her name is Carmen from Nollywood. I've seen for a long time. Um, she's also like foreign spread. Um, one of those pretty things in Caroline Carmen. Um, you know, I've known about her, heard about her, you know, being dating to Fizigibia, who was also dating another reality star, you know, and like today, and Gibia. She was formerly with him, in a relationship with him before, heard about her, you know, in entertainment before, because she, before she, when she was previously young, she was starring in movies, before she now got to be married to an old billionaire. She married a, uh, an old billionaire, had a child. Got divorced, you know, remarried, um, divorced her current husband, you know, raising a child, she has grown up. Um, you know, she's one of the you know most known you know, socialites in Nigeria. She owns like construction and other things, a businesswoman. 
She's very visible. You know, she gives us this potential to like people to call her name. The way she even talks about herself, you know, she's just very you know, boy, you know, boy, boy, and all of that. Like, she gives the potential to care about herself, you know, sometimes you know, people are like, I'm just going to speak big, you know, that I'm going to speak big, you know, that's very, you know, but knowing that she's an actress, you know, brings a lot of like enemies, so people don't see how her uh, marriage is going to be about this, you know, Caroline and Kanye, Hutchins is on the show, um, yeah, you know, the first cast members. The next cast member is now going to be, that one going to be fun, is, I think the fans, you know, like AG, also, you know, the cast, you know, like AG, you know, AG, you know, the biggest, you know, um, um, uh, vlogging in Nigeria, and like, media, and, like, um, entertainment, it started from basically her sister, who is one of the biggest bloggers in Nigeria, you know, like AG, um, you know, uh, has the biggest uh, newsroom in Africa, has the biggest newsroom in Nigeria, the biggest blog, the biggest uh, media room in Nigeria. She has one personal blog which has the most kids, I think, one of the earliest blogs that you know, in the KG blog sports, you know, from family of social media people, Sasa, you know, being that you know, she's the biggest reporter of entertainment and celebrity. The really high, you know, she's a, she's a genuine, like, um, international blogger. Um, you know, she's formerly a model and then you know, her family is very very popular. Just that for media and entertainment, like you know, she promotes the stories, her sister also carries stories, which makes them very funny and people like, like call them out, you know. Her sister sometimes, you know, she has really come out from just that media like you know, representation that you know, I mean that like, is the most known um positive blog like in Nigeria, you know, she's one million strong, like she's you know, one of the biggest media just people. So we do that, you know, the KG family is known, you know, have a lot of like, you know, presentable stars, you know, all this relevant. Laura herself is formerly an actress, um, her sister Linda KG is formerly a model, now a huge media creator, a media blogger, a um, media, a media, uh, media uh, blogger, um, just, you know, made billions with that, but Lind Laura KG is, um, you know, Formerly an actress, um, she's from acting, you know, she's actually very beautiful. She's only you know, from Hollywood and acted from a young age. And um, she is now, you know, she's been married. Why she's so popular and like, you know, she's just uh, have been, like, have been um, covert outside, you know, in social, you know, from, from, from marrying, you know, uh, being in entertainment. While she was an actress, she now got married to, um, uh, one of Nigeria's national sports treasures, um, Kanin Wanko, who is her um, uh, brother of her current husband. Um, you know, if you know sports and you know athletics, Nigeria, Kanin Wanko is a national treasure. He has won many Olympics and you know, he's one of our biggest football stars. She's married to his brother. Um, she's actually Laura KG Kanu, married to Kanin Wanko's brother, who is uh, also in you know, sports and coaching. Um, so, you know, she's been, you know, she's been married. So, that's where she's one of the you know, from a star, a actress, which I like her movies to, you know, be a star's wife, she has a family, she has um, children, she has um, a growing family, and also a sports video, and, um, you know, she's, um, yeah, she's a new person, they're very entertaining, they're very happy, and, um, yeah, her sister is a juicy blogger, and um, the voice is gay, and um, Laura, you know, is also behind all that, and she's, you know, she's, just, um, she's also, you know, a serious, like, entertainer, and, uh, yeah, so she's gonna have, you know, just being, you know, like, the limelight, the ball, and all that, and just raising, like, the whole family and all that, um, you know, they're from that KG name, KG's have been entertaining for a long time, um, the other sister is also a manager, and just, you know, they're both in, you know, entertainment for a very long time, they have, um, content creators, they have a good people. Linda is like a brainchild behind a lot of media stuff in the family, you know, being of the KG family, the blog and everything. And uh, Laura is just staying, you know, as a star, you know, being in her own brand and all that. So uh, Laura is actually funny, she's a very funny person, she's rich. Um, you know, she's, she's very relatable, um, you know, so they're bringing her and she's young, so, you know, I've heard about her. And, you know, so, you know, Um, and then another person that brings in is John Michael. 
just for looking good just for bringing like you know building the hair and building you know looking good beauty and all that um she's you know being from abroad and all that um young she's not been married but why she's there is because she's been like just being from here in the Lagos social scene whatever she's from abroad and all that you know it has somebody in, in relationships with famous people so you know she's knowing just about her you know, being, being famous in relationships Show her motherhood, you know, she's a huge businesswoman. This Yabo, aside from first priest, which she has named, you know, just dedicated to her children. She's a single provider, she's a single entertainer, she's a single entertainer, a single mother, a single, you know, breadwinner. She's been doing that for a long time. Um, you know, Yabo, I don't know if she's famously been in any relationship. Um, She's um, just she's just famous for being you know, herself. She's beautiful. You know, she's not famous for her daughter. Her daughter is like you know kind of thing where like you know, the content you know, um, um, you know social media like um, trending, popular, um, 
media person, like social life, young social life, like you know, content and um, uh, yeah. I work for IT bag in Nigeria, Kesula Ogu, um the big mother, the others, the badass actress, I love her. What is going on? What is going on? Of course, we don't know what's going on. Uh, Shona, what happened? What is going on? What is going on? Caroline, we um, want to hear what happened. That one is uh, high, 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 high. two presidents ago. So what happened with your marriage? What happened with your first marriage? What happened to the second? Why is there a child? Also, you can access to people, female celebrities, not close. They're just screening. They're just screening. Like she's a fashion like a, you know a fashion um, uh, a fashion plate she would just her concepts are just crazy and it brings you know yeah so people you know a lot of services wear her clothes for entertainment for comedic effects for to money she can do any kind of styling um they wear her clothes for like inter- you know awards all the things that she's doing um, her clothes are really, you know, she's notorious Fashion and um, um, stylist for stars and celebrities. Together, we thought she was going to be a from London. We she was born in Lagos and business with her fashion and brand owner. She's had a reality show before. Yeah, she had a reality show, uh, Tiana's Empire, in 2017 that she featured in the in the same happy zero business and all that business aesthetic. Being one of the biggest fashion people in Nigeria, she goes all out. She dresses as she wants, she costumes, she does couture, she does, she's great. She's one of those women that she knows that, um, you know, the show must go on. People want to talk about the sex thing that she put on, people want to be sexy what she made. Most of the sex thing her judgment is of, of, of judgment, her judgment of clothing, her clothing judgment, fashion standards, and all that. So she's the industry and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Whether she will not show the truth, these are the truths that is being told. We don't know what will come, but you know, we can only you know have a laugh, like you know, she's going to open up about herself. We feel familiar for a bit, and you know, I'm happy to see like women and housewives in the intimate relationship and how to be like, you know, um, you know, just you know, um, not from like nobody's, from like actual like, people who are to understand. And then the next um, um, cast on the show is Juma Dia. Juma Dia and Juma is a um, PR, a um, blogger, a um, communication um, background. Juma um, Dia and Juma is actually um, known internationally um, from the US as a um, media and PR communication. Um, families we've seen features of their family we've seen intimate moments in details we've seen their day-to-day -day life seen them interact and we've seen them um you know keep it a buck to their part you know give us the the good um, juice and all that and yeah and of course like when i saw that that was really sweet of our housewives in the house so it's just funny like what's going on what the housewives do okay to see like you know they brought really nice to bring all these trash caricature things and it was really normal but then you know like you know the same thing like I like to see the cast and everything it looked good um yeah um so it was really good to go to school and it's really good and I'm excited that it's really good for me 
uh, you know, notably like it's something that like foreigners usually carry for. Um, yeah, Nigerian writing is coming out very strong. Nigeria has been doing a lot of good things in the shows coming out like this, like, you know, um, you know, new uh, concepts and all kinds of reality shows, new uh, um, the evolution of reality TV and really like knowing that that's um, crazy and that's um, the solution of our celebrities and that's the ignorance and all that, so it's really cool to see like um, modern women in the and reality TV and all that, so we should be online. Website is available on, on like for free, like well, so you can still go and watch it on every website like on, online. Um, just because like you know a lot of people are going to speak about it, a lot of people are going to it's going to trend. So we wanted this trending thing to be like con- continuous. So the trend was there, I was watching it for free. I'm um, not paying for Showmax because um, I don't know. Um, it's in partnership with NBC Universal. From America, um, to release the Nigerian installment, showing the six women and the film showing in Lagos, Nigeria, uh, the Ghana's world, um, you know, you know, um, just the fashion and everything. That, um, I found a lot to do. Um, the fashion is also very much. Um, I watch it live. It's just, um, it's just, um, you know, to watch on the you can make a lot of things that you can um, you know, um, people that like, interest you in the you can you can it in the um, yeah, I'm about to be in, um, you know, so I'm to be in the I'm going to be in the I mentioned um, you know, um, in case it's the first episode, I don't Um, you know, negative um, some reality shows. Like, you know, things connect young people. So, you know, I'm happy with this one. Okay, like, you know, person who I was happy with them coming with it. Um, all the ladies are cool, you know. Um, yeah, I was happy with them. Thank you so much for sharing. I like to try and find me. I can help her. 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 Thank you.
into entertainment, in the media, and acting and then you know, I want to go and just get my different things and then I find out to do a job I used to do in the business of my friends and I'm going to have a year in the brand of Lagos and I'm going to have a year in businesses and all that in the brand of Lagos and I'm going to have a year in the brand of Lagos Interesting looking on public speaking, a new person, um, you know what she brings to the table. Um, so the first episode it starts on the you know, it gets jittery, like when it's airing on the air, and it was like, um, yeah, it was it was really it was really interesting. It wasn't too much just to give a conversation, like, um, so the first episode aired, um, it aired from the first episode of YouTube Vlog. Um, First episode we start is called the tea. Uh, we meet the ladies on the first episode and we have a meet at a restaurant. And Tiana and Yabu are the probably known to her and Tiana is dressed in a hole. Tiana is dressed in a hole and 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 Tiana is dressed in a Dressed. Yeah, but Tiana has styled and dressed both Yabo and her daughter before. So they come to meet about that and discuss. Um, you know, it's the first episode where they get 15 years ago. They get to meet Sam. They have both of them. 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 Professional that Choma seems off. Choma is fake. You know, she's giving kind of like one kind of fake energy. She's like a fake person. She's giving kind of like snobbish kind of like oh kind of like posh fake um, um, intro like um, personality, which is true. Um, and that's Tiana's first impression of her. Uh, so after the meeting, like they've met and they've discussed, they've interacted, the atmosphere becomes tense. The ladies have a round of tequila shots and it relaxes. Things become rapidly unusual when Laura gets irritated, disgusted, and has a disinterested expression on her face. Tiara sets up a meeting with Laura after witnessing her attitude at the launch. Laura claims, you know, after so they still met and everything, they have their, their feelings. Some of them feel like obnoxious, you know, after having drinks. There's animosity, animosity between Laura, Tiana. Um, 
See, Anna doesn't like chumas and personality and stuff like that. Um, calming her down, you know, because she feels she will still be participating in the group activity of the future in episode 2. So, going to episode 2, um, now for episode 2 recap. Um, Tiana decides to call Laura, then they're planning the trip today to leave. Um, Laura, uh, Tiana planning it. Um, you know, um, she wants to have um, the beach event for all the six ladies, you know, um, at a private beach resort. She has dressed and booked, she's planning it's going to be like just a chill event, a chill um, meeting, like lazy night, chill night out, that kind of thing. So they're just going to go together and chill. Um, others said they will make RSVP, but Laura says she doesn't come, she's very irritated. So Diana decides to call Laura on the way to the beach to ask where she if she's going to come. Laura says she's not going to come. Um, ladies arrive at the beach, um, actually without Laura, in, she wasn't absent. Um, they're taking a bath, like they look at the environment, they look at the whole scenery, they look at the whole um, activities that Yabo has planned, like they look at everything, they're grateful, they, um, they look at everything, they look at the activities Laura planned, um, the um, activities Yabo planned, um, the scenery, the um, location, the outlook and everything, they see everything and um, you know, they like it, you have a try, like, you have a try, you have a try, you have a try, you have a try, you have a So, some of them are there, they're really tipsy, they take drinks, they welcome each other, they're doing, you know, very, very, like, um, bubbly kind of, like, intro, hi, 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 bye, you know, kind of, like, um, you know, um, you know, um, uh, uh, social, you know, that kind of thing, just, you know, keeping it very amiable kind of thing, they don't seem to be happy with drinks in there. Um, so they chill, you know, they mix, they sit down. Um, during the game, they uh, guess who, they have to play the game, who best suits a particular title, like, um, so they sit down, some of them have arrived, Caroline arrived, Mary, um, Choma uh, Guri arrived, Yabo arrived, Laura arrived, no, Laura didn't come, she was upset, and T uh, Tiana arrived, so five of them. Um, during the game, they guess who best suits a particular title, uh, they start talking about Laura, um, you know, they, they play this game, they're trying to play all these like drinking games, they want to play like who, um, put your hand up, like, uh, uh, what's it called, take a shot if you, have you, never have you ever, that game, so they're playing like who did this, who did that, and all that kind of thing, just to like chill, like, free themselves, like, to release tension, and uh, they, uh, they guess who best suits a particular title, um, you know, they're, looking for different titles like who is the loudest who is the most unsocial who is the most uh, fake who is the most sexual that kind of thing uh they start talking about laura because they, they they haven't seen her like they brought up who gossips and laura's name has mentioned that she has gossiped about previously about caroline's husband caroline hutchins about her ex-husband who was a oil magnet who she married she has, you know, she's Linda Kiji's sister who has a blog. They've mentioned that Laura has um, mentioned she has run her mouth about Linda Ki uh, about uh, Caroline's marriage in the past and some of the other ladies has carried remorse. The so they start talking about Laura. Yabo is mimicking her, how she's always in a low mood. She doesn't want to come up. She doesn't want to, um, you know, she doesn't want to give any 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 energy. She doesn't want to um, get involved. They start laughing that. Um, Laura, um, you know, is at the social and all that. They ask if she's a gossip, you know, something she has said things. Her sister is also trash talking, you know, they just say you know, things about her, she doesn't want to be around, you know, she wants to make herself scarce, that kind of thing. Um, that's the party, um, you know, Laura doesn't come, they, they sit down, they, they chit chat, they ask Caroline about her personal life, she doesn't want to say too much, she will read it. Um, you know, she starts actually com um, confiding in Choma. I feel like Choma is getting introduced in that episode. Choma is like kind of her type. They both meet, they like each other, they link. Um, Caroline sees Choma as like a familiar person, like the um, uh, 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 comforting, like um, uh, companion, that kind of thing. Like, the, you know, someone she, she clicked with, you know, she had her like first speaking to each other. It's as if, you know, they, you know, they're both, you know, Caroline is fancy, she's thick. 
Choma too has this kind of like materialistic kind of thing. So they like the way they, you know, they, they are, they are clicking, see their vibe. They like how they will arrange that kind of thing against the other two. It's like, uh, Choma is new. I like this person that is like me. She and Karina are paired to be against how they will power against Yabo to him and then Laura by the wayside on her own. And how the two old ones are like, will, will power against the two young ones and, and meet themselves, that kind of thing. So they've made friends, that kind of thing. So she and Choma are now talking, you know, they Karina is saying, why in her business? Choma starts saying, yes, she's not in her business, kind of thing. Part one, part two, kind of thing. Um, so they are just, they're just clicking, they're just, they're just chilling, that kind of thing. Uh, at Caroline's Bohemian Party in episode three, there are a lot of abusive, yeah, so that's the end of the episode. The people, they like, you know, they end up chilling, they, they, cla uh, they chill, they laugh, they have fun, they chat, they do things, you know, they, they try to entertain themselves without Laura and, you know, they're just having the energy, alliances are formed, that kind of thing. Then episode three, they um comes back to Caroline. She's planning a bohemian party that she wants to have um for the ladies. She wants to have a bohemian theme party um just to celebrate some of what she's done. She opens it with the, with the party. She invites all of the ladies. They all come, and um, when they come, they see Caroline in like an irritated mood. You know, um, she and Laura. She said that Car Laura said things about her. She's not like the way Laura has talked about her in the past. Laura has carried rumors about her, she wants to confront her, Laura is a big negative things about her, uh, rumors about her, she says Laura is, you know, asking for her trouble, she doesn't like Laura's, you know, uh, like, um, you know, lies and all that kind of thing, she wants to talk to her, at the Bohemian party, there are abusive languages, because Caroline wants to see Laura, she wants to meet her, like Laura is running her mouth, um, in the garden of the room, you know, they're chatting, that kind of thing, Yabo, we see her, um, in the you know, so the Caroline is very good. It's Laura, she's it's the Laura's language, right? She doesn't want the ladies to talk about her personal life, but you're being too stuck up, you're trying to like wave your way away from personal questions. People are trying to joke with you, you're getting annoyed. Uh, you know, she's up pity. Yabo later in the day, you see, uh, Laura doesn't want to come early, she now comes fashionably late. She walks in, makes an entrance, doesn't want to enter. She walks in, she comes in fashionably late, and um. Uh, you know, she wants to make her own entrance and just uh, walk in like today and passionately late and it's today, you know, African time. Yabo sees Laura coming, she tells Laura um, what Karan has said about her, the previous speech um, and then when Laura comes in fashion with an attitude, uh, Yabo is always in the middle, goes to tell Laura, oh, Caroline said this and that about you, you better talk to her, she said you're running your mouth, you said you've made your story, you said you're carrying you know, that kind of thing, just like your behavior, she said Caroline said this and you get away, um, later Yabo tells, um, you also tell Chioma that Laura has, um, actually uh, tells Chioma that in defense, Laura is actually like insane. She doesn't have like she anytime that somebody threatens her, she becomes aggressive. If anybody does anything to her, she will like check the person. So hearing what Caroline is talking about, some old rumors from years ago, she gets irritated. You know, Chioma is like um, in the middle. You know. Uh, it's, it's Caroline's minion. She, Laura says, who, you know, who she is, how she is threat. Yabo, who's always going to run from one place to the other, from pillar to post, uh, uh, um, reporting and all that, goes to tell Chioma that Laura threatened her. Um, you know, that Laura has uh, been threatening her about you know, what she's saying, that Laura is going to do this and that to Caroline. You know, Chioma is hearing that she's always, at, you know, um, alert for um, Caroline, you know, so she's like, oh, you know, taking her side, you know, doing her um, message, you know, her whatever her uh, friend, Kenny. Um, yeah, she doesn't, you know, she's like, oh, really, you know, she's ready to jump in, that kind of thing, jumping kind of behaviors. Uh, um, so she tells, um, you know, Choma that Laura is trying to slap her and all that, but them are now like ready to side up against her. Um, you know, because of the rumor and just Laura is not even ready to, you know, she just Chama is herself is rude, she has an attitude, why is this woman feeling herself? Um, so they bring up this, the mood is irritated, like the, the tension is much. They bring up the subject, Caroline mentioned, um, you know, Laura KG, Linda KG. Caroline actually brought up the um, rumors, Linda KG, Laura's sister, messed, uh, making up rumors on her blog, reporting gossip and all that about, about Caroline. 
married and all these things. She reported about the like KG gossip, she and her sister messing up you know, her name and uh, irritated Laura. Laura said that's a lie, that's years ago, blah blah blah. What I told you, so she was that was defensive, you know, you don't care, she wants to be at home, she doesn't want to party, she wants to just she just doesn't care, she doesn't want to hear it. Caroline is upset, people have been you know back uh, backstabbing her or saying things about her like running up like ruining her name you know she said things that it, she opens up about her past you know about her previous um, relationship her marriage you know how she just doesn't want to open up you know she has a child she can't really go into the details of the divorce because of the nature of you know the uh, the person and you know this the societal image she wants to portray but you know she said you know she's been in a bad divorce and divorce you know she feels you know this and that you know uh, as a domestic violence survival you know the marriage the abusive marriage kind of thing uh, laura you know is, is talking about it and opening soul wounds and then laura feels you know ashamed she feels like okay sympathy she says sorry she's okay i'm talking about that you know me and my sister we didn't say that uh, what happened is that you know we didn't know the you know the whole total uh, story um you know we didn't we didn't want to go there like she says oh this is what she said about the marriage and you know she didn't know that you know what to say so you know she feels sympathetic okay fine i don't want to touch your um talk or to talk about your, your marriage or your past that kind of thing and then in the in the episode miriam um trimmer they are meeting the new castmate um in this season the sixth castmate joins the ladies um on the trip like they plan an abuja trip uh, we're first introduced to Miriam, we're seen to her home, we're seen to her, her, um, her um, uh, intimate life, you know, her husband, her child, her work life, her relationship, you know, her, you know, her business, just her personality, her personal life and all that. We're used to her, we told that she's a, a PR a communications person, she's a, um, you know, a blogger, an entertainment blogger, uh, lives in, in, like, in Lagos and Abuja, you know, to Nigeria, um, so we told about her. She knows Chioma from um, back in these different places. They've known each other. You know, she's linked up with Chioma. Chioma calls her, invites her to um, take a trip to Abuja with the girls. So you know, Miriam decides to meet them. She wants to go. She goes. Um, you know, Miriam is bubbly. Miriam is is um, jittery. She's you know. Um, lively she's chatty she's turned you know she likes you know feeling friendly she's engaged that kind of thing she's she's um you know she's pumped that kind of thing you know she's advising to say chama chama now suggested that they have a sleepover um so they end up staying at the resort you know miriam is kind of like asking too many questions she likes to ask a lot of questions she asks her nine questions as different questions for like okay what's this nervous one what's this and that Anyway, she doesn't mind if she's friendly, she's invited. Chama suggested that they have a sleepover, so they rent a room in the resort. They play a game of truth or dare on the first night. So they all want to play that same um, never have I ever truth or dare kind of thing. And they play the truth or dare on the first night. So uh, yeah, so they want to play, you know, open drinking games and stuff like that. Um, so they do that. Caroline is very free. You know, she's never to play with people. She doesn't want to get drunk. She doesn't want to expose herself. She doesn't want to, to, to drink and show her her drunk side. She doesn't want to lose herself. She wants to be like a nun. She doesn't say anything. She just to say too much. Um, Diana actually asked her about her ex husband's divorce again. And Caroline is like totally irritated like she's nervous to respond she doesn't want to say a straight answer to answer i know that's the question they've asked they asked her about her relationship you know Caroline really doesn't want to say a straight answer and Miriam is quite curious they asked Miriam some questions about sexual life and things she's done and some questions too she's not nervous to answer to you openly answering all the questions to you and including herself Caroline will not answer about wanting to question her marriage she said she didn't say anything and Diana is demanded she wants to know you know she's trying to be the host she didn't say anything um throughout the whole journey Miriam feels like Caroline is very snobby she's uptight she expresses her feelings to Laura Laura you know being um, also on the outside with Caroline because Caroline is very good in the last year's story you know Miriam goes to meet Laura and says to Laura and Caroline is not used to that you know something to sense the tension has got her own story about it Caroline is like um, 
yeah, you know, doesn't care about the two of them. She doesn't mind looking at me. I'm just joining forces. Laura's seen Miriam as her new step. She's not going to see Miriam as cool as Karen. Snobbish. Um, basically, Caroline and Chama have formed like a bond. They're very, very close. They are very, very tight. So they're both seeing each other like they have been like twins. They don't work together. So this is the evening. Caroline and Chama, they have an evening like mixer where they all sit and they. Um, drink and they have drinks and they get together like that was nice. Carolina and Shoma showed up. They were confronted by the ladies. The ladies confronted them and um, yeah, the ladies asked them questions like they interrogated um, the two of them. Like why are they late? So this? You know, why are they acting snobbish? That kind of thing. The ladies asked them immediately what's up? All that kind of stuff. Like why are they acting weird? Laura doesn't want to even be there. She acted weird again, making faces of disgust, complaining. She didn't like the food. She didn't like the environment. She didn't like anything. She's drunk she's tired she went early um she wants to stay carol and Chama, they really don't care they're acting cool um then in the next scene laura hosts a fashion show the lady smith in the pants shaped by offspring dynamics laura picks issues with caroline because obviously in the picky issues with smith and all that yabo is the one without drama she's the willing instigator girl she likes to give education she is normally um um, free with everyone, her, her behavior is still not catching on, like she's still not in, people are still catching, you know, like um, coming at Yabo, you know, same with Miriam, who is even trying to please people more, and it's like doesn't sparkle. Yabo is, is um, without drama, though, she's like playing the um, peacemaker, that kind of thing. Seeing this as just the dramatization, like the episode shows so far have been good. Um, yeah, so Carla and Chama who are from Bond, they are so close. They are analyzing the rest of the show, of the cast. They see how the women are pretentious. They don't like the truth or dare. They feel to be, um, you know, Tony has asked about Musa Dajiba many times. Carla has seen as the last show. She took Tony to Bossy, which is true because the two of them were close before they end up falling out. They didn't have a huge misunderstanding. Uh, Tony has called to Caroline about that. Chama has some friends on the um, resort trip. She brings some um, accompaniments for someone. Miriam actually asked one of the friends, uh, her um, close team and all that, why it's easy to see Chama as a bitch. Because Chama is close to Caroline. Caroline is a good one from her. Miriam is asking him to be able to get rude. She asked Chama to kiss her ass. Um, you know, she's drunk, she's being flirtatious, um, she asked questions, you know, she asked Miriam, um, Chama friend why Miriam, but Chama is a bitch, and her friend is actually, you know, what are you talking about, and she, yeah, Chama is like, he's asking him, like, how can I do what you mean, like, what are you going to do, like, who's this, what are you, what stuff are you starting, like, what is what are you starting, Chama is not a fan of the power language, Jesus. That's talking about how Miriam came in saying hello bitches, my mother, I'm a working class woman, you know, I'm not going to get to the place where I'm trying to know me and I'm just shouting, you know, like hey bitches, you know, she came into walking like yeah, hey bitches, I'm not this and that. Like she's like, why is she shouting like, you know, hello bitches, like what's that, what's that shit? Like that's trash, you know, come up this person. You know, Miriam, like, who does think he goes with all this shit that fish is doing? Uh, you know, presses Caroline, you know, to um, comfort her to, to give her own opinion. You know, Caroline is like, yeah, it's not my problem. You know, she treats Caroline like, why is not saying anything to this girl? Because she's starting trash. We all came in trying to divide everything. Caroline is like, oh, it's not my problem. I get to know her. Um, I just have to decide who is my friend. You know, I just feel like her energy, blah, blah. Caroline is sitting on Choma's head. Choma is uh, irritated with uh, Miriam, being rude and all this stuff and doing all this intro and all that. Meanwhile, Miriam tries to just be friendly. She just introduces herself. I'm a mother, this and that. You know, I'm, I'm polite to my mother. I work this and she was just being friendly, free. She said, hey, hello, bitches. She's drunk. You know, uh, Choma being a good scene. Caroline being a good. She's always feeling good. It's always Miriam, they're always talking about how, oh, as a woman, you don't do this, this, as this, this, as a mother, this, and this, and you know, she knows so Miriam is too much and all that. You know, um, it's easy to see that um, Choma and Miriam are drawn to each other because they are both um, introverts, they are both them, uh, conservative people, they both like to pretend, so they like each other, um, they like their relationship, the relationship takes the other ladies, uh, the other ladies are. 
in detail in my life so I've been able to comply yeah episode 4 um, this is Laura I want to um, start to plan a fashion show to so, um, host a fashion show um, you know she has started to plan also by the to fashion show which she hosts uh, she hosts Yabo and her daughter to model for her also um, you know she invites all the ladies um, um, she, you know, she knows everybody will come um, except Laura who will come uh, Choma, she has invited her to come and host the show. Yes, yeah, so um, Laura hosts the fashion show, um, invites all the ladies, invites the and her daughter. She wants everybody to come. Um, after confronting Caroline and Choma about you know what is the whole um, teamwork kind of thing, she just doesn't care. She has her show. Just she and Tony and Yabo tell Caroline to follow, 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 follow her. Uh, you know, like follow up with your man and follow, follow each other at almost in you know, every event that they host Yabo hosts or others host Laura is missing that Choma host Yabo is missing you know so they always miss each other Toyin's um, um, irritation is um, open again at the uh, second event that uh, Laura hosted um, she wanted um, uh, Yabo and her daughter's model which they came and they did Yabo and her mo daughter modeled uh, modern daughter clothes which they did Laura hosted events it was held late so behind schedule um, some of the other guests were not present Laura is, is missing and all that Yabo's egg burst is looking at Laura's second event is a fashion show hosted by Day Relay so Laura hosted that event um, some people didn't show up she has a follow up event she confronted so yeah, Abo who said they couldn't really stay for a long time, they did do their um, catwalk and they went home. Priscilla, Yabo does a new model and it's a uh, uh, content creator. She agreed to model for the first part, but she did her modeling part. She could not now stay, she stayed and did her modeling in a shorter time than she was expected to be there. She cancelled and then you know, did that and was, was fortunate enough to do that and then left afterwards. Um, Yabo was already busy so she's gonna go Laura was who did and the main people she didn't want there weren't there um at the second event a fashion show which was hosted by Jay really a socialite um usual subjects suspects so people who want to welcome you they want but they want to promote Laura they want to support her um Caroline Toy who takes you know every chance to remind everybody you know she's a fashion queen she doesn't want anything to she, she feels like it's her lane she wants to make everything you know everybody you know, aware that she's the queen of fashion it was this laura's fashion show you know laura doesn't want to care so you know she's already the queen of fashion her thing and then uh, choma feels that when they're really flashy dresses so they come they're really sharp with their fashion they want to see laura's kind of designs um, you know, they come, they are like that. So Choma actually comes really dressed well, like she looks really good, like she comes dressed really well, like she looks really nice. Um, she comes really like dressed very well, um, looking really cute, like she's a very fashionable dresser. She actually had the best of the day. Um, the students the spotlight uh, went to in the confessional goes. Choma feels like she wants to make her entrance. Um, you know, Tony says in the profession that Choma wants to feel like that can make an entrance and like, babe, nobody can now shine me. Like, you know, Tony, she felt like Choma was trying to come in and just do too much and do too much entrance and make the grand entrance. Tony, in the professional says that that's what Choma trying to do. Um, she's like, babe, no one can now shine me when it comes to fashion. Um, it's not a competition that we're not in secondary school. Um, she maintains the energy and ignores Choma's uh, entrance and ignores um ignores you know Thomas grand interest feels like she's just doing a freak show and ignores Caroline who's also trying to make the same energy like she feels like it's just a competition like why does best dress um not to do too much fashion um so Choma feels like you know she's trying to make her entrance um you know just too many um, egos and all that. It's like nobody can compete with me. And she had Choma, Choma and Caroline trying to do too much fashionista. And anyway, Choma was making too much brand interest. And Caroline is now following and doing another one. The editing is, is ironic and funny. Uh, Choma is observing that Caroline and Tony have not spoken to each other because obviously, you know, Caroline has not answered to these questions. The man was so uh, and all these type of things. No, I'll tell you, has blurred her own husband's face. She has not shown the picture of her husband in three of the episodes. From the first episode to the last one, she has not revealed her husband's um, face for like 
the three episodes like throughout the duration of the show so what concerns her with another one's marriage um, issues and all that but she feels like caroline has not opened up properly they've not spoken so he's pissed that chelma and caroline were even invited after they skipped laura's in the first event she's pissed that they, caroline and chelma they never want to come they never show up and um, both of them are beating laura after they skipped laura's event calling the event potential um fake is not for me i'm done being chilled and that's what she declared you know she just felt like they were being fake um, she just irritated and he showed up so late. When Laura's models were walking down the runway, Otoy opens her phone to show, start showing her, showing her own pieces to Chioma. She wants to start showing her uh, her own line. You know, she has her fashion line. While um, Laura's models were walking down, she starts opening up her own um, her own pieces, her own fashion um, garments on her phone, and showing that they are competitive. Um, you know, she's trying to feel it competitive, you know, just trying to show her own in the middle of that, still the spotlight. Chama feels like that's competitive and not appropriate, not at the right, at the right time. The ladies are unimpressed by Laura's fashion. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, they see Laura's fashion, they think it's silly. You know, they're, they're seeing, you know, her looks and her fashion. Um, you know, they find it cheap. They don't even like the show. They think it's silly looking. They they're not impressed. They feel like it's cheap, whatever. It's water. I'm not sure, you know, they still uh, have comments and I'm not sure this is actual collection because right now I don't really understand what I'm seeing. You know, Chama that's what Chama said. You know, she be the fashion book. She likes to do, you know, um, you know, she has made that comment that she Tui, who is Laura's friend, um, has even more sharper words because she feels like Laura is competing behind everything. Laura is not just the fashion that she wants to do. Laura is trying to compete with her in fashion and all that. She says that uh, Laura's style is not my style. When I saw the collection, I saw the logo, I did it with Laura. You know, it wasn't Tui, it's Laura. When Chama turns the knife, it uh, makes the last um, blow to the, to the um, you know, comments and everything. She says, this sort of thing I wear to stay at home, possibly to go to sleep, I will not wear this anywhere, ouch. Like, when Chama, you know, she makes that comment, she says that thing is cheap, and I wear to sleep and all that. Ironically, it was positive in her confessional with Caroline. Beautiful collection, Caroline has positive things to say about Laura. Beautiful collection, Laura, keep it up. Today you're happy, be happy Laura, that kind of thing. And like Caroline is cheering for her. She has good things to say about Laura. Um, Caroline says, keep it up Laura, be happy Laura. This is a good profession. Um, this is a good collection. Uh, professional, she just feels like Caroline is, um, you know, this is a good for collection. Keep it up, be happy. Um, this is cool, you know. Uh, she has possibly to say, um, you know, Caroline is having a little surprise when I try it. She doesn't want to make any bad comments. She says, okay, she thinks it's okay. Funny, the trauma agrees. She says, um, let me lie, I think it was okay. She practiced in her statement. She said, it's so short, I'm being extra mean. I like the shorts, but um, I think I'm being a bitch. I'm just being a bit extra mean. I'm being a bit mean. Um, so energy comes back on the runway in the form of the album, ready to model. You know, she's now model with my daughter Priscilla, they did that. Um, so he is wondering if Yabo you know, is wearing the mini skirt to some of the clothing dresses. Yabo is dressed very scantily. Priscilla is wearing a very modest clothes. Um, she says Yabo doesn't want to get old. You know, Yabo dress in Jesus' name. Then in the worrying moment, in Tony and Miriam, they appear judgmental. When Laura, Laura do, um, son, she has a clothing line like a children's runway for the son. Um, Tony and Miriam, they're sitting out there on the high post. They're um, judgmental. Um, they ask for 100 naira um, um, when they're doing the charitable donations. They're, they're asking for you know any kind of donation like for that. You know, like what to do, collecting donation, collecting charity. They, they drop 100 naira, um, you know, which is a this like they just did like an offering drop of 100 naira, which is um, a rule that in classy reality TV, children are off limits. Laura, a type A sanguine, is delighted with the presence of the two women. Um, she has repeatedly said she does not care about. She starts a toast, then breaks it to mention Chioma. Chioma thinks Laura wants her approval, but is going about it the wrong way. Laura is the type of being delighted with the presence of the women. She does not care about them. She has a toast, a toast you know, of the of the success of the show. And she breaks it to mention to Chioma. Um, Chioma thinks Laura always wants her approval. You know, she makes it us. Um, but you know, Laura wants to kind of um, uh, come back in and uh, repurpose her intention with Chioma. You know, she feels like Chioma is not even a factor. She doesn't care. 
Carolina said things and I don't know, Chama is having her side, so doesn't care if here. Um it was been about the most episode six. The central conflict of season is forming. It will be Laura back by Tony versus Shoma Caroline. The beginning of episode six. Um, the central conflict of the season is forming. That's Laura back by Tony um, versus Shoma and um, you know, Caroline. So they formed that bond. Laura to so um, Shoma Caroline. Yabo in the middle, Miriam on the side. That's how it seems. You know, that kind of uh, conflict is forming. Things just down here. Miriam is hosting yet. I wanted to be ladies. Those posture issues in the house. If you shout out, keep your ass out. Um, Miriam hosts an event. She's walking to come to life. She's walking to come She feels nice to have a fun night, drink, and all that. Invite the babies. Uh, get together, socialize, and feel like, um, you know. You know, just chill, turn up and all that. She says, I want them. She has a loud one. She has energy. When they come in, she says things like, um, you know, don't squash your issues in the house. Shout out, kick your ass out. Which offends them. Still, they show up in time. Except for Caroline and Chama. I'm not supposed to sit out really in their absence. Which offends them. Still, they show up in time. Except for Caroline and Chama. Who are, um, well, I'm to get to the six hours late. The six hours late, the most common time they come after six hours in the night. Uh, the other ladies joke about Caroline, while they're not here, they bring up news from the video song that you know, Caroline saved your drama. I don't really talk to you about that. So they bring up the, the lyrics from the song, they talk about her body. When they arrive, the album is a new for Chama. They're happy with you, boy, Miriam. Six steps of steps for karaoke. And they see Rihanna, Sombrella, how they feel to chill. You know, they said Chama to calm down, that kind of thing. Reality TV brings female for 50. Blue Housewives has banned on that for popularity and beauty. You can see how half of the ladies, aside from Laura, Tony, and Miriam, are not necessarily embracing drama. You know, let's see. Laura doesn't want to be involved. It's actually bringing ratings, it's going well, like the show is getting popular. Laura doesn't want to be involved. Tony wants not to be involved. Miriam does not want to be involved. You know, Laura doesn't even care. Tony is like getting irritated. She doesn't like the slow pace of the women. Miriam is just new, so she's not bringing the drama and embracing it. Laura brings up Chioma and Caroline's weakness in the WhatsApp group, the one WhatsApp group um, for the show, for the cast. And Laura brings up, you know, how Caroline and Chioma always do this for fashion show, they for her uh, party, they for things, always come this way for Miriam dinner. They bring it up and they're on their way, they come, they now see an epic fight in the heat of allocation. Caroline accuses Laura of being pinned out to the court now. She, she accuses Caroline. You know, to defend us, of Laura called told them stupid, you know, ungrateful, so says that they don't come in mind them, they say that, calling them out, saying things about them, you know, why they're not coming, they're fighting ethically. Uh, Caroline accuses Laura of being picked out to the governor, you know, um, Caroline accuses Laura of being uh, picked out. Christ, which is a you know, slut, a loose woman, she's a political uh, prostitute, she has been picked out, a poor woman, that kind of thing, she has picked out the governor, you know, for money, she has collected, you know, for, you know sexual people, you know, being the end of the season's first climax, you know, the airline is being called the political slut, but she did things to collect riches and the you know, her leg, and all the Yabo's response, Caroline is going crazy, she says, you know, I will kill you, that kind of thing, she's ready to, she's ready to slap, she made all sorts of demands, that kind of thing. Yabo's response is to call a meeting and to mature, the ladies, you know, she wants to call a peace offering, a peace gathering, because of all this episode of Caroline, Shoma, Tiana, Laura, um, Laura and then uh, Miriam and all these things, so Yabo is still having me, it's like a peace maker, she wants to call a meeting, even though she too was uh, felt um, ridiculed because of how Laura um, embraced her as her fact was for coming late and just wasn't really rushing her and all that, but she feels like she wants to calm the energy of the group. She called a meeting, a premature, and a lazy thing it is, but they respect the Yabo to their hand, the Yabo is a peace maker, um, but she feels instigator, you know, she feels like Yabo is going to make peace, but Yabo is going to make trouble, um, she wants to shout at them. Um, uh, everybody, you know, why is everybody taking up different um, um, places, ask questions, and just, you know, you know, she's, she's angry, but I'm not speaking to me, it's happening, 
first Laura wants to support um, uh, Laura wants to support um, what they argue about, you know. Um, Laura and Laura have been friends, Laura has been off, Tony has seen Laura's two sides, she came off. Um, Laura wants her support, you know, everything that's been said about her and she, Caroline, having it back and forth, Tony standing in the middle, watching, not saying anything, um, to argue about, you know, what friends are for, you know, Laura is having, you know, he's just having like, um, uh, what's it called? The a rumor about her saying that somebody she said things that were untrue. So he's what you know, she has not so just like what is all this like yourself, like your your kind of your your cousin, like um your your chasing up the drama and all that. That is about what friends are for. For Laura, it's blind Laura loyalty. Laura it's blind loyalty, like Laura is blindly loyal. Um yeah, um but blind loyalty when um yeah, it was the thing is being loyal and um, blind like being a follow follow kind of thing. Um the Laura faces, you know, Caroline and never on her mouth. Just they shout they shout at each other because Laura has basically, you know, obviously because of things that um, Caroline has said um negative things about Caroline about Laura and um, you know Laura said you know, about the constitution and all that about Caroline and, and Laura being Caroline being pinned out and Laura you know, saying those things and not, not regretting it saying that Laura and Caroline is a prostitute Caroline is a slut and then uh, Tony you know is not even coming anything um you know Laura feels like Tony is engaged in that so she's she's playing the both sides Laura feels Caroline they argue to the point of blowing each other they actually want to fight with the the shouts and they say, they ever call me that I'll beat you up kind of thing they have a tea in the social situation. In the moment of you know absolute you know illogic, Laura tries to physically attack Caroline if she ever mentions her sister again. You know, Caroline is not to mention Linda again again or she'll beat her up. She tries to physically attack her for you know if she ever calls her again, you know, do ever mention her sister again, you slot, you prostitute, you do that, you pity. Laura is referring to her previous fight. I wonder why that she has why why that now that she has a platform on you know media show, you know she keeps name drop like um you know the, uh, the other keep name dropping her sister and name dropping what her sister has said and written and allegations her sister has written and coming at her for things her sister has written on her blog and name dropping and that rather than focusing on her own endeavors and her own personal separate um, celebrity um, society in the public eye and stop bringing up old blog posts and really start keep referring to old things that her sister has written and give more such as one that Laura just said about her life her life is linked by people that said it about the political thing and you know, did you read that rubbish and then she's going to take it you know she's it's her side with what I would have with that more um about this you know stupid things that she said and um they keep the best really it she says that you know given the whole track record record of everything everybody is just trying to be like name job and just cut this about her sister and she feels stupid with her rubbish like her sister wishes um for the first time in the push and pull um antagonism Caroline proceeds on the offense Screaming back at Laura, Alain begins to ask this up Laura and you know, they go back and forth, they want to you know, beat each other up. I mean, they push and they're just scrubbing, you know, scraps, you know, they scrap, um, you know, screaming at Laura. They both pounce, they are held back. Laura's week comes off on international TV. Um, in the heat of everything, her week comes off. You know, Caroline is they are ready to beat each other. They are both held by security. Amidst the drama, the real house of Lagos, you know, that's one of the later episodes it was still captures like really good um, okay so i missed all the drama like um so they had the fight and they broke out um into like physical fight altercation i missed the drama of the real houses of lagos there's some nurturing friendships but the disagreement has been too much laura with tony uh tony with um um, um, um miriam um uh, sorry laura with tony um um Chioma and uh, Caroline with um, um, Miriam and Laura, and Yabo in the middle, like it's been a lot, like it's been different type of altercation, so it's been very, very disagreeable and been very dist uh, disturbed. I think in the next episode, there's a fallout between Caroline and Chioma. Um, their friendship becomes very fake, it becomes very forced. They start to have disagreements, um, they start to, you know, 
a fallout um, Chama is calling her a nice baby Lisa, Lisa is because of the horror all these things but they noticed that the friendship is dividing because Chama um, uh, when um, she was having issues with the other ladies she was having difficulties with the other ladies and um, you know trying to put together um, like um, um, like support for Caroline. Caroline kept just arguing back and forth that then Chama said, Who the fuck are you? They almost came to like blows, you know, um there was just cracks in Caroline and Chama's friendship, relationship. In the final two episodes in Dubai, um, you know, it shows how their pieces of like disagreement became very bad. It became very uh, situational, like crucial, still very critical and evil, like you know, they 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 sent each other back and forth messages just the change of tone in the first week was really it was very like one sided I think Caroline is not posting all the energy. Jama was just you know agreeing because she got Caroline was a natural, trusting, um, nice person, like Caroline Jennifer's a good of their relationship there their ego was clashing, like Jama just doesn't get her Caroline on his support and Caroline kept he kept um, backing back you know turning her um, uh, anger and aggression and projecting her anger onto um, um, Chioma rather than to the perpetrator the, the of the problem to, to resolve it um, with Laura. So we had taken it from Caroline and she had done it. She took her own friends, they just end up fighting over some mad issue. I think uh, just calling each other out, calling each other names, they end up breaking up their relationship, their friendship. But the late coming also, like um, Caroline doesn't um, respect people's time, she doesn't respect people's uh, patience and she just does things her own days and Choma just began to be frustrated with her lack of time management and other things. So it just began to argue, it got to um, you know, betray each other and it just became very negative. They ended up you know, falling out, the mishaps about you know travel, they ended up they went to Dubai with all the women, Laura and all of them um, traveled, um, you know Laura was mostly on FaceTime with her husband. She didn't want to really reveal her issues, like want to speak with other women. She wanted to maintain her relationship, her um long distance, you know, her um communication with her husband. She wants to settle anything with women after having a a back and forth with Caroline and almost and beating them, beating them, fighting physically. She wants to speak, she wants to confront anything. Um, so she just stayed in her room with her food, she cared. Um, Laura even sat down and chatted, you know, Tony was kind of agreeing with the lady in the exact of showing support in the group and generally. And the vibe of the Caroline and Choma having a disagreement and arguing with Choma. Uh, I think um, uh, Choma thought Caroline was ungrateful because Tony had been you know, trying to make peace with Caroline and trying to even defend her and then Chama just felt like so a Caroline's energy was negative the group was trying to dominate um, aggravated a lot of um, this um like um discord in the group and um you know divide and all that so just where they fell out. Um Chama in the next scene called her parents um, she talks to them about protecting someone she's close with, she has tears, she is real as somebody who family member of her has passed away, you know, she has a little call with her parents there in the US, their face is here to her sister, she calls them just to talk about the challenges with relationships, with previous ones she's dated, you know, talking about the challenge, challenge they ask asking her when she's getting married, how she's going to, you know, you know, keep her in practice, seeking like, the settlement, you know, the self-stable relationship, and just talking to them about her challenge and just try to see more support from her family with the board. So I explain to Yabo that it's okay, you know, Yabo has already taken um, her aggression out from the women. She feels insulted. Um, she personally had a, um, um, you know, like a, she and uh, Laura started fighting, um, you know, as in Dubai dinner. Um, you know, um, there was a fight. Yabo said that she wanted to return back to Nigeria from the dinner um, ahead of schedule. She didn't want to stay, you know, for long as she was going to go back to Nigeria. Um, you know, Yabo had become a little bit just the you know, lack of information with the guests. Her line was asking her why she's trying to run away, you know, getting to say that she's getting the train. Um, you know, in, um, so he had gone to report to the rest of the ladies that she heard that. In the previous night, while it was between Yabo and um, Laura, um, Yabo was overheard shouting by the pool, saying she wanted to fight Caroline, she wanted to beat her up. Mm-hmm. Basically, Caroline had some sexual affair with Yabo, somebody she Yabo was with, or somebody Yabo was with, 
thingy or something like that, you're riding with your bag, you're having some prestigious um, engagement or something like that, active, to solve any yabo, yabo, shouting, to beat her up, she to fight her, she to override, you know, shouting, she to, you know, beat her up, she to beat her up, she to beat her up, so he wants to tell, back to tell the women, you know, that yabo, you know, said that, um, you know that Yabo is heated, she's, she's ready to kill Caroline, all the things she's just saying and just there, yeah, just all the, the nonsense going on and all that. At the poolside, Chelma, Yabo, Miriam and Caroline unpack, you know, what happened. Um, basically, um, they were sitting at dinner. Um, Caroline um, became irritated that she misplaced the $45,000 bracelet at the resort that they were staying in. That she had previously misplaced a $45,000 bracelet. And you know, it was due to the, the confusion in the room and the group and the activities and the first one get to her head. And she started complaining about it. Uh, Yabo now commented that she thinks that Caroline. Um, um, it's actually genuinely angry that the other women are talking to Laura again. They're not she's not angry or frustrated with the bracelet that was lost. She's really just trying to boast about the fucking bracelet that the bracelet doesn't even make any sense. Or rather she's mad about the girls still talking, uh, making up with Laura and continuing their friendship with Laura and including her back into the group when Caroline is angry with her about the comments she made and everything she reported about this and things like that. Uh, Caroline is jealous that the women are back into killing with Laura. Uh, she had a party with Choma about that because Choma was trying to support her into just giving Laura a moving on. Caroline was not backing back at Choma that Choma should just leave her alone. So I thought that her support for Caroline was just useless. Caroline didn't want to move forward. And you know, Choma is rather just to make peace with Laura and go forward. The other women have made peace with Laura, like they're speaking to her. Caroline is so irritated, she's still angry about that comment that Laura made about all those allegations about the sexual affairs and all that. Caroline is irritated, she knows the subject. She said that the trip has made her to cost her losing a very expensive for five thousand dollar bracelet, a bracelet that was given to her by her ex husband. So she you know, lost it, and it's just because of the wildness of the room. He was just trying to, they thought she was being frustrated, she was frustrated, transferring frustration to other women because of their, you know, general camaraderie with them, Laura. And just was just a little making herself from an uh, enemy, just making herself from an um, agitated um, um, guest and all that. Meanwhile, so that made Yabo irritated about Caroline, just, and uh, just um, generally have her ways and her ways and her mindset and just her attitude of what she's talking and just her behavior and just even you know, her, her repetitive negativity and just such a that she just seems to give time and just wants to fight her because of all the things she's doing and just her energy and all that. Um, so when Tony is always trying to report what people say and going back and forth and has to bring up in the chaos and, and when somebody says something, go and report and go and tell everybody, when the story comes out, Everybody is shocked, you know, about what uh, Yabo is saying because Yabo is facing the fans who are shocked to see Choma and Caroline and all that. Choma also chipped in that Caroline was not so, so remorseful when they first spoke in private that, um, you know, uh, Caroline wasn't sorry about things she said about Yabo and when she said in her confessional that um, she really didn't really care, um, they had discussed, you know, whether she should feel, you know, apologetic to Yabo for what she's saying. And, um, next steps, you know, just to calm them both down. And she mentioned to the group, you know, she feels like Caroline is not really remorseful, you know, she doesn't want to make peace. Um, she was like, she, when they spoke in private, Caroline made all sorts of side comments and said many things about Yabo and talked about uh, many things about Yabo's life and all that. And um, she didn't make any genuine connection, any genuine gesture to, um, 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 you know, come back after the airport and the um, shouting and the threats and all that. Um, so that's what Chama suggested that when they spoke, you know, Caroline is bewildered because she said that um, she has apologized to Yabo with many calls about three times and what the Yabo gave for the body and that's just like Chama just trying to side them, we just trying to keep everybody's ass now that she knows that Caroline is not afraid, she's trying to come back and be everybody's friend, trying to play the um, best man, the, the um, plus one and trying to get everybody's favor and trying to play the wingman and get everybody's favor and other people and trying to play back into the group the majority because she and Kana are not good and then she was just trying to get back everybody's favor and going to the album and starting to um, side with her and she was a big popper. Um, Jomma is, um, after Caroline tells her that she's fake and she's 
for Kim Popa, she's in Zambia, uh, and she follows her line. Chama starts to shout that she should shut the fuck up, shut up, um, calling her names, and that um, she has been taking her for a long time to just, um, you know, calm down and all that, and, um, and just, um, you know, like, move her, like, her madness and all that, like, you just shut the fuck up, her line for her, like, cool. Um, the relationship is not stable to the trust, to do things that are not dead and all that. Just if you talk to the uh, different sides of the group, so you'll be affected kind of those points very still. Um, Chama starts screaming that everybody wants to beat you, and everybody likes you, everybody wants to beat you, everybody wants to fuck you up, and everybody wants to fuck you up, everybody wants to fight you, you can't lie, because obviously everybody is angry and hard, don't get her when she's bored, she's bored. She also screams that she would have let them be too. Nobody can stand it because they love me, they're jealous. Which is just showing trauma by like, love and love. She's now shouting about her passion that the trauma and her life is not forgiving her. Her life is holding the world. When her life just makes her happy, they don't get to the end. They're just two classmates who got along. Her life just makes her smile. She goes ahead, calling out for her donation and everything. Chama is going for a full day and uh, uh, you know while Chama is talking, she goes for a full like 180, um, you know, trying to hit um, um Caroline but ends up ramming into Yabo. Um she pushes um, Yabo so that Yabo hits Caroline and falls her down. So she meant she, she kind of pushes Yabo so that Yabo and um, runs into Caroline and knocks her over. Uh, which is her intent to, to beat up Caroline. Um, you know, she's she's hurt, she feels irritated, and Caroline is just, just stepping, spitting back friendship in her face. She wants to physically fight her. It's because the apple steps in the middle, and, and then Choma uses her force to push, uh, go the uh, apple uh, back onto Caroline, like just to push both of them together. And so she wants to get to Caroline so bad. She now starts shouting now that she's done it to me, and I see how it feels on the other side. Uh, Laura is right, Caroline is a fucking liar. I've seen how she double crosses people, I've seen how she backbites people, I've seen how she backstabs, I've seen how she lies, I've seen how she speaks, you know, makes up lies. She runs her mom, she, uh, she paints, um, she lies, she manipulates people, she says, uh, she's a liar, she's a manipulator, she's a negative person, and all that. Um, you know, she starts complaining about that in her professional, and she's in tears. Um, you know, but she you know, um, the Abu Sa Kong people have been just living in the house, and I'm sick of all that. We live in some little park, and I don't care, so all the girls in the pen, and they should keep her family life, and life, and life, and all that. She has a child, 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 she's very conservative, she's very modest, she dated a Muslim in the middle, so she's trying to do all this decadent social housewife image. She's very modest, she doesn't like to come out when they think she wants, she wants. Miriam and Tony are surprised that Chum and Caroline are fighting because of their sleep and Tony now says it's a miracle. I can never in a hundred years come to say that these people will ever issue with each other because they were coming and they were in alliance and all that, which is crazy. They the same personality and Caroline really doesn't care about another person. So Laura starts rejoicing from the love of the people who are living in their lives. She doesn't want to she, she, she returns to what she did and she returns to the energy and she does like this so cool and her back is so warm. Laura is so happy, she starts relating that the two of them fought and all that. She's happy. Um, it's over. So the two of them now win the worst fight that happens to be two places to the end. Um, how the ladies are trying to calm down on Caroline and just hide from everything. Choma is still trying to put together some events for her business and some It's all back to Lagos and then the kill energy has been continued. They both have been treated, you know, the drama, the beef is still on. 
but she she feels like she will reach out to the other lady to invite them to um, a racing event, but she won't invite Caroline. She refuses to invite her. She leaves out her invitation. Um, you know, so she she doesn't invite all the other ladies and not Caroline. So while that happens, she feels okay. They'll come, but um, ulterior motives happen. The plan goes awry. Um, you know, it's um, uh, Yabo and the rest show up. They're not particularly impressed with them. Uh, the um, uh, turnout and all that, like they all came. Um, without uh, Caroline coming, Laura was there, but you know, um, you know, when they came, they discussed her, it's like she's been painted as Caroline, painted as the show's villain. Um, you know, the plan is just going awry. Um, you know, the way they're tense, they're still making like they don't have any like genuine trust for Chioma at this point because of how she nurtured that beef between them and Caroline. But Caroline is this as villain, she starts talking about Laura, Laura is talking about her to Chioma, and uh, Chioma is talking about her to the others, and Laura and all of them. So it seems as if she's still painted as villain, even though she's a lot of character. Um, yeah, it's a very um, so. The show ends like with um, there's some good news at the end. I guess it's the end. We are revealed that Tony is expecting a baby girl with her husband, Shekun Wells. That's Tony Lawani's husband. Expecting a baby girl with Shekun Wells, her husband. To be. She loves the man. She's excited. She doesn't want to like you know spoil the surprise. But she announces everybody um, to the women, like to the rest of the cast, that she's expecting a baby girl. She's jubilant. She portrays that. To the rest of the women that um, she's um, as a dating a baby, she's a baby girl, or she's affecting um, a, a, a baby girl with um, she's due with her husband in early pregnant and um, you know, finding their family to the various movies. Meanwhile, she did is say much about you know, the focus on her relationship. My husband comes to meet her with his surprise while they're in Dubai, you know, anniversary and all that. They're making a good, you know, loving, you know, like communication, like a good um, relationship progress. When it comes to surprise and gifts at, at the Dubai, they're happy, they're happy. So she, they're all happy, and um, yeah, how about you know, they're romantic. Even while she was angry with the other women, they came to her surprise and you know, they were there, they were really surprised by his presence. And um, because of that, you know, she now announces that she's expected to be a baby girl soon, uh, which is good news. Everybody's giving that good news. Caroline is um, still raising her child. Um, you know, um, we view that Jama goes back to see her family in the US. She's preparing to, you know, she's still connecting her family, her parents, her sister, and all that. Um, they're, they're, you know, far away from her, so she's hosting the girls, but she's still not at her own staff home. Those are her big businesses, her luxury brands, and all that. Um, you know, her hair business and everything. She's trying to keep Laura a customer. I think Laura has shaded her, she's not her regular customer and all that, but uh, Laura already made that clear that she doesn't know her from anywhere, but she will promote, you know, you know, she will keep the business afloat, keep here, Laura hearing about it for the rest of, you know, the season and all that. Yabo is um, just permanently on you know, her business, her movies and production and her family, raising her daughter, her son, um, you know, she's good, um, still going, you know, to keep peace with the women, still keeping up her like motherly image, like keeping the women sane, keeping herself in good scene and all that. Um, Alora is, um, you know, Uh, 
grab the package, package is good. Um, she's comfortable, she's still stylish, she's still clean, she's still in action, you know, doing her thing, you know, she's wild, she doesn't really have that kind of for like stress. I like the very material, she just put her husband, um, you know, Laura was so funny to me, this person, so we did this person now, and you know, she was like, she was so funny, she was hilarious, like, I just, I generally, I don't do the phone, her like, lack of like, commitment, her lack of like, you know, you know, you know, don't care how I chill in on the on a very side of my vibe like I like her very much. Whether we're talking about her blood pressure or we're talking about the she doesn't have to she should have uh uh her life her strength and she bought it to be for a hot to her. She didn't let her be you know she she rather than hot her and her life to show the hot of the to silence her. Um, so far, um, and talk to people, which is true, I like her, you know, um, Miriam is with her family, you know, they're showing her, just connecting her business back in Lagos, succeeding in her husband, keeping her, you know, um, interracial marriage going, and so on, um, you know, baby in Nigeria, at the age gap, keeping herself young and plenty, you know, she's open to speak to other women, she's confident, like she's upbeat, she's young, I feel like she opened up a lot on the season that she um, really like um, uh, communicated, like really showed her personality and came alive and like she thought that she was judged by people like Caroline for like revealing sexual or revealing intimacies of herself and just drinking and being you know vibes and all that Caroline would be looking at her with church eyes and you know just felt like why are you judging me as married you are not married and you're judging me as in my husband's house why are you judging me like you're so old that kind of thing like when they're calling her old that she's trying to be too bossy and marriage and um, bitches using the word bitches and all that and she's just like why to me so stuffy bitches is just a normal word and everything bitch did initiation for her and all that but she likes some of the good members like the Diablo Tony she has been fun to Tony she and Tony are cool uh uh Diablo she and her are cool um um Laura is not cool with her, but yeah, she and Yabo are cool. Um, you know, and just some of the other women that we met, uh, she and Chama are cool, they are cool, they are fine. Um, she just thought this season was good for her, and knowing that she was new, she tried, like she did, she did, you know, just showing her, just continuing with her family and just her storyline, just bring her business in, doing less of the drama and all that, but she was funny, I liked her. I feel like she was torn, she was very too just, she wasn't forming a prison, she was herself. But yeah, so Caroline, you know, still going, keeping her family, you know, she doesn't want to hear any more rumors, she doesn't want to hear any more uh, negativity, stupid rumors, she's battled Laura and her rumors and all that. She doesn't want to hear any more rumors about her family, about her, about her you know, issues or anything, she doesn't hear any more hanging, she doesn't want to speak about her divorce, she just wants to keep herself close, business. Keep her, her life you know, fine, fine wine. She doesn't want to carry anybody's head and you know the lies on her head. You know, Tony tries to call her some kind of uh, relationship whore and all that. Laura wants to call her you know, whore and all that kind of stuff and um, all these things and all that. So, um, story for now, this is out of her mind and all that. She just wants to keep it from all that drama and beauty. You know, she's very outspoken, she's very candid. She doesn't stop um, commenting, she doesn't keep her mouth shut, she runs her mouth, she doesn't hear any of the, um, she doesn't want to deal with any more rubbish, um, you know, repetitive, um, drama, she wants to, um, she wants to, 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 she just doesn't want to forgive her, she will never forgive, she gets a whole lot of attention, she has told her at all, so she just keeps herself away from everybody, because her set her face, um, you know, doesn't want to go out to, to come back to her world, to her life, after the years of her friendship and these things happen. So it was an interesting season, uh, they had a three-part reunion, yeah, it had a three-part reunion, um, one of the best parts of the reunion, um, 
like the, the reunion was aired i think we had a two three part reunion um you know some of the epic parts of the reunion the women came back to discuss Jama and caroline went back and forth they still didn't want to settle themselves Tony and the uh, caroline was showed in the project just give a roundup of the reunion Tony and caroline went to um or back and forth on social media Tony so called Caroline a lesbian. Told that Caroline is slut. I'm um, sorry that she has you know, a home record and all that. Caroline said Tony is a lesbian. Tony has been offered to, you know, to date her and all that. She has called it way back and forth. Called Caroline a liar. He says she gets it back to so a home record, a marital, a cheater, and all these things. A prostitution, a political girl, and all these things. She's gonna have different names. That she's fake. She's a fake person. She lives a big life, she's a liar, she's lying about her life, and just she's trying to throw her mouth and she's trying to break her own currently. She's still trying to see another woman's husband. And Karen said, Which girl too is a lesbian, Tony has tried to date her and other things. Just, just saying, Tony to has, has, has run her mouth at her, tried to, to, to even and, and, and come at her to, you know, she, um, and flirt with her and all that. So Tony should just shut the fuck up. Um, I think I have a talking to each other at the reunion. So he started shouting, you know, she really didn't care. I told you, I told her, went back and forth also. They, um, you know, went back and forth. They just uh, started going back and forth about the story being fake, the story being a letter, the story being a liar, the being potential. So she didn't show how bad it was. She went to all that thing. She asked her about her marriage many times. She didn't do it about herself. She judged each other at the beginning. Now, the Chama felt like Tony was just next to the so he's just causing a lot of, uh, um, you know, Chama is very just causing a lot of, um, of, the, of tension in the group, and he's causing a lot of um, confliction, and Tony is just a liar, and just a devious, you know, repressing, and Chama is a Chama, is a small girl, she came here to try to use people, she tried to use children, she tried to, to, to um, shout, you know, um, to use Tony to, um, to um, manipulate to me to run a lot of the team, um, you know, trying to like that show competitiveness, you know, trying to put that competitive in her fashion, for instance, her showing all the pictures in trauma, very, um, um, Laura's fashion show, trying to be there, and just went, you know, too far, and just trauma sees to your potential, too far, just be, just be, um, be, um, uh, very, um, over the top kind of like bossy kind of person. Ch um, uh, uh, Chama said Tony has been calling out all sorts of uh, flimsy like comments and so many flimsy um, uh, compliments. And she was just putting on airs. She was like a bit of London. She was just a real girl. She never went anywhere in UK. She's actually like she's just like funny that she won a Ubudui Bowl. Overseas, that you get it from Nigeria. She's just one local. She puts on a foreign fake accent. She's a local champion, that kind of thing. It's just like Choma is just a bully. Choma tries to sit in the seat of the high babes. That's just a lame babe. She says that Choma is trying to do all this kind of like social life. She's just trying to social climb. She's a social climber from time, which I kind of agree with. Choma wouldn't really gets along with Caroline after they saw that they were just putting themselves into the competitive relationship and so that just shows that Chama is you know feeling a bit wary of the other women so he called her a liar she called her a fake um, uh, over the over Sadi and um, fake and um, English role just all sorts of things they have they they put so many of the out fighting and also Caroline and Laura they have a job with Caroline so they give her about you know what she did about her She's so judgmental, why she's so fucking up her ass. She was trying to be real, why the other one was trying to cheat in her. So, like, Caroline was being shown all this um, judgmental, all this um, side comments. We didn't really care for Caroline, but somebody became also strong and who didn't even really care. It's not an issue with Caroline either. They just chose to forgive. Uh, Yabo just wants to put respect to her name. The results, you know, and Caroline. Uh, Bragging, uh, complaining about the trip and lost and, and um, um, 
you know, wasting their time and paralyzed energy. She just wants to be so her name. She doesn't like all the small color. You know, it wouldn't even be normal for she and Tony to argue because they're both the same and they're both friends. But Nora and Tony are not communicating well. You know, Nora feels like she just, everybody feels like Nora's job was just to be able to part. She kept this back attitude. Nora just kept giving people bad vibes and all that. She just wants to feel that she likes, you know, her life private. She doesn't want to put this uh, uh, fake, um, um, ingenuous kind of relationship and all that. So, you know, they end up sleeping very well. So yeah, they are like socially, they think they can afford to see each other socially, they are like going to be lesbian, they are going to be like a prostitute, you know, all these things, they went back and forth. Yeah, the thing is very funny, they are at the beginning of the world, it's showing that they are both in, but the acting is like them, it's like funny. Yeah, the video was really good. They can't, you know, you know, keep it moving like they they just cast it to, to portray themselves and go oh, everybody can die after that. Like they can't carry another person's phone in their head. They cannot carry uh, frustration on somebody's head. So they just keep keep it you know, they just keep it uh, the police friendly and all that. But I know that so you know, still want to support some of the like just kind of uh, uh, lesbian and all that and um, just other things and just kind of Denying everything, sitting around with her accent, sitting her British accent, saying no, and all this kind of pompous kind of thing, and just sitting there saying she's not apologizing that people are jealous, um, you know, um, you know, um, um, she doesn't care what you know that, that um, Chama um, 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 Chama is a liar, you know, make up tr um, stupid and um, false narratives and all these things. So anyway, um, the reunion was really cool. Um, we just chatted about the whole season. We cast it very well. Uh, I like the cast because it breaks every season one. You know, it was very interesting. I it was uh, like eight and the eight. So it's really fun on the streaming. I think it's finished by now, but you can catch it on the stream platforms. You can catch it for free online. So the one was free online. So somebody had already got to put this for everybody. I'm trying to find season two. When I do, I will cap it. Um, but I've been um, really like enjoying like, you know, watching Nigerian reality shows, Nigerian uh, no, uh, no reality shows and entertainment. It's been really fun. It's giving me like, you know, like, cultural memories and it's, it's funny. It's just really funny. Um, things are too funny. Um, yeah, lots of, um, um, you know, lots of reality shows and uh, you know, uh, Coming back with some of the same women, 
um, German and other women there. Yeah, so the Real Housewives of season two, uh, Lagos season two, has um, some new cast faces. It has all the same faces: Miriam, Adeyemi, Faith, uh, Yabo, Joe is back, Tiana is back. Um, but some new faces such as Faith Mori, who is a, a socialite, a um, variety and um, brand ambassador in, in Nigeria. Um, you know, uh, fashion icon and all that. Um, a scene queen you know, in Lagos and all that. Faith Mori is a fashionista on Instagram and social media. Um, she's a, a great fashion icon. Uh, she really dresses well. Like, uh, her life looks really amazing. So I'm just going to be dressed to see more of her. And Tanya Tanya Motayo who is um, um, uh, married so Tanya Matayo is married to um, an entrepreneur and um, business owner and all that so she's going to also be shown on the show she was formerly also dating this kid at the time if you remember she's very pretty um, she's an entrepreneur she owns um, uh, like beauty spa and like um, you know she's a business woman um, you know she's fine she's fashionable um, she's pretty, she's likeable, so you know, she's going to be, uh, you know, she's going to be on her screen in season 2, also joining the cast, so stay tuned for season 2, when I get to it, I'm going to do the review, it's going to be live here on YouTube, so stay tuned for that, um, coming up, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for season 2 cast, so I'm going to try all these to give, it's more really good spicy, so it's like a little, and you know, the other faces, so it's going to be nice and epic, and I give this show rating 8 over 10, for the first time at 10th from Real Housewives of Lagos and I think Shoma has delivered a very um, stellar cast and a very interesting, um, you know, production of, you know, African wealth, African labor, African luxury, African, you know, um, um, high, uh, high profile status and all that, so it was really cool. And the women dress, like everybody was trying to shine, you know, like fashion shows, dressing as a you know, lot of good looking like um, clothes and a lot of good looking um, um, fashion and design and a lot of like aesthetically pleasing like fashion and all that so they are also looking they look you know, the type of you know, fashion fashion so we wore a like, bada had a little so white gown the jama had a white um, um, Shoulder pads, so twins in the corner, like she looks like Queen of England. I was like, twins like a babala, like you know, just because of the avant garde, like over the top dressing, over the top styling, and all that. It's very, you know, very serious, like you know, a couture. So I, I like, I need to see it. Um, yeah, I um, was happy with it, and um, it's another one in the review series. I'm um, happy to be back on YouTube. I'm so glad that this year I've been taking it you know, instantly, like continuously. In content, the creativity of mine, creative interest. I'm happy about it. I'm so happy with this creative path I'm taking. I'm learning and growing, um, getting better oral skills, oratory skills, learning, you know, to to edit and just keeping like you know things I want to do, boosting my like technical skills, my passion for media, entertainment, lifestyle, review, conversation, and beauty. You know, also do you know my hair and everything, but. You know giving just everything i like to like channel my like uh, creative interest and physical you know, attributes to and my um, you know, creative passions and my creative um, um interests and all that creative energies and view that i'm going to take my channel i hope this is fun i always keep it going i'm not going to say too much but i will keep you know the, the story going keeping the vision going and I hope you will subscribe with you. I hope you like you know, the subject, to the content, uh, the reviews, um, title, and the, um, the um, um, selection of the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you laugh. I hope you, um, you know, catch up on the show and the relaxing, like, interest and all that. And I hope you enjoyed it. Share with your friends. You know, find something relatable. And I hope you enjoyed the review. And um, yeah, I hope you. Um, like this channel, um, you know, this review is going to stay up. Um, you know, I have others, but um, consider it, you know, like a um, learning experience. And if you like it, um, you know, like, you know, share with a friend, watch it, and you know, get you know, uh, connected on the channel. And um, I hope you will subscribe. Man. Uh, again, I'm Lilo, I'm a content creator. Um, hopefully, see you again in like, February, keep doing this year and go our goals. 
Um, if you did like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please give a review and invite me to meet yourself in a steady customer. And I hope to see you on the special day. You might get my notification on the inbox. Um, you know, you work on YouTube and how to build this vision like uh, promising and just uh, progressive. And yeah, if you did like this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more. Just keep up with me and focus on my content and do my own passion and uh, find me an artist and I want to share with other artists. So keep up with me. Um, the uh, 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 comments and the uh, support and um, I'm so grateful and I'm um, going to look back with more videos. Hopefully you stay a uh, family member, like, comment, share, subscribe again. I hope you have a blessed week and have a fulfilled week, a fulfilling new month. Happy new month. God bless you this month. Go for your goals. Go and get everything you want this month. I um, hope you have a very good week, weekend, um, a very good week. Um, you stay blessed. You stay purposeful. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video and see you later. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye.